That, I don't even know if I'm pointing at him. That's Milliken Fishing. We are fishing today, obviously, because I'm with Milliken Fishing. Links down below, go subscribe to that boy right there. We're gonna be fishing a new lake. It's gonna be exciting stuff. Before that, I've got a new Guggen Squad video, Guggen Squad video, Guggen Squad shirt to show you guys. Here, actually, I, I, let's get Milliken here. Here it is. All blue, plain shirt, oh. Right, right, sure. right there. there it See, is. it says it's the juice. The juice on the back. The yeah, juice. juice. juice yeah. And Guggen right there. That's the new shirt Dude, of the sexy. month. I will link it down below. Subscription do shirt for Guggen Squad. If you guys purchase, if you guys sign up for the Guggen Squad shirt thing, you get entered to win a free boat, free fishing trip with the Guggen Squad. Yeah, I'll link all the information down below. And we made it, didn't crash the truck. Surprise, surprise, we're on the water. Today's gonna be interesting. I'm going to be using an app to find places. I've never been in here. I'm gonna use places, I'm gonna use an app to find places on this lake to fish. I'll tell you guys more about the app in a second here. I just wanna start fishing. So I'm gonna check my phone, see where it's telling me to go catch some fish, and hopefully land a biggin. 12 seconds later. Well folks, we're out on the lake. Like I said, I'm gonna use an app on my phone. It's called Netfish. I will link it down below if you want to download it. It's, it's free to download. You can download it. Basically what Netfish does is it use the information that, that they gather from iBobber. You guys know what iBobber is. It's like the, the portable sonar thing. They use that information on lakes that people have used to find to find like you know probable spots where they think that you could catch a fish at. So they've got a lot of different things in the app. So they've got like when to fish, where to fish, and how to fish. So they'll say like you know what baits to use, and depending on the water clarity and the sun and and all that stuff like that. Mainly today, I'm interested in spots because I have not been here. I this is we are in Iowa actually, not even in, I was gonna say Nebraska. We're in Iowa. So I know probably the baits that I should be throwing because I live here and you know I have an idea. So I'm not really gonna pay attention to the baits. More or less, I'm gonna pay attention to the spots. I've never been here. I have absolutely no idea where to fish on here. So I'm looking at the phone. We're headed to the first spot now. It's like a little green dot. I'll play the B-roll here. We're headed to that spot because it looks like an offshore point and it's summertime and that's usually where the big fish hang out. I'm gonna throw a wobble head. What are you throwing, Texas rig? Oh, yeah. Texas rig. He's throwing a Texas rig. I'm gonna throw, what's up? Maybe a jig, okay, Texas rig, jig, I'm throwing a wobble head, maybe a Nico rig. We're gonna start off offshore, even though it's morning, just cause I don't think the fish are probably pulled off too shallow. There's a few spots on this lake that, uh, that are shallow, so we might go try that. But for now, we are going to go and try some offshore stuff and see if we can catch some fish. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, dude, that's a giant. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, I wasn't. Well, that didn't take very long there. No. You want the net? Uh. No. Are you good? That's a yeah. big one. Dude, that's a fatty. God, that's a big fish. Well, Milliken just caught a freaking toad. Maybe you're not on the boat yet. Okay. Wow. Slaunch Central. Oh my god, you know, dude. Five pounder. Look at it, she's missing half a tail. Yeah, she doesn't need Man, to, that's why she couldn't fight very well. <laughs> she, she's in rough shape. That fish is. That's a fat that's fish. That's a five pounder. Yeah, easy. Freaking heavy. Uh, easy five pounder. Go. There's the video, folks. Right, thanks for watching. On. We're getting out of here. Drove an hour and 15 minutes, we're, we're headed back. Oh my god. <laughs> what is this guy doing? You gonna leave any fish for me there? No. Not at all. You just you're like, hey, Flair, come fishing, and you can come spectate. Fishing. Look at this dude, just putting on a clinic right here. I'm just getting started. Fishing a little up. offshore, offshore rock pile. Insane. Boom. Three. Well, a little bit over three, maybe. At some point today, guys, I might, I might catch a fish. He's swimming at me. Yep. Yep. There we go. Finally, folks. Yes, he's on the board. I can catch a fish. Believe it or not, I can catch a fish. He swam at me. All of a sudden, all of a sudden it just went slack. Look at that. So Ben's up there throwing a creature bait on a Texas rig, and I picked up the old wobble head. This is one of my favorite, somewhat, you know, offshore baits to throw. That's eh, two, two and a half. Not a bad one. Definitely not the size that Ben caught, but this spot is pretty, pretty fire, if you would ask me. There you go. There you go. Biggin? Oh, you want the net? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna grab the net for him. 
That's a toad. That's a bad gum slob. That's a big in. Oh wow! Oh wow! Look at that. Look at him go. Here you go. He's coming in. Coming out with him. Okay. God damn! Oh wow! Okay. He just about flopped out. Well, he's a mean dude. Well, guys, Milliken's just uh, you know, kicking my butt here. I'm just over here oh, twiddling my thumbs. You gotta be kidding me right now. You cast it on. There's one. We got doubles. Oh, oh my gosh. I got a squeaker. I'll take it though. I'll take it. I have to get such a flare fish out of our double. I just got to stick true to my name here. Look at you. Boat flipped a three and I boat flipped like a 1.5 classic. Flare fish. Yep. Nice. There we go. That's all right. I caught a fish. I ain't caught a fish in a little bit. I even gave him my jig to throw. Yeah, this is, this is Milliken's jig. <laughs> But that's good. We move spots a little bit, finding some more kind of offshore stuff, looking at the map of the lake, finding a few more pinpoints that are, there's a couple that are offshore, there's a couple that are a little bit more shallow. Right now we're sticking with the offshore bite, so mm -hmm. we're just going to run the, run the offshore stuff, see, see if we can catch some more fish here. There's one. There's one. Oh, on the old frog and flipping stick, folks. I'm not frogging or flipping, but I'm catching them. Where's freaking frog rock? Freaking, freaking everything. There we got it. Oh! That's what you're saying is it works well for offshore. So, fish. yeah. There we go. Quick catch and release, folks. This is, uh, yeah, so this rod, you can frog, you can flip, you can also throw a jig. Um, what else have I done? I threw a wobble head, caught a fish on that. I think, uh, Top shot. Yeah, you can, this is a great drop shot rod, actually, like six pound test. Two hours later. Well, folks, we haven't caught too many more. He's been catching quite a bit, I haven't. We're gonna move to another spot on, on the old Netfish app map thing. Gonna try some more, where there's like one more that's kind of somewhat offshore that we're gonna go try. Again, we haven't really targeted anything shallow uh, because, you know, it's summer and that's just kind of what we wanna do. We wanna target some deeper fish. A lot of times that's where your bigger fish are gonna be. So we're gonna go to one, one more spot here. We still got a couple, couple more, couple more spots to go to, but there's one more on the map that I think we're gonna try at least before we go. And uh, hopefully we can catch fish. There's a fish, oh, swimming, it. swimming it. Swimming the jig. Come on, buddy, woo! That was kind of funny. I was like, oh shoot, I think I hit a brush pile. Oh, did you get snagged? Uh, I thought I thought we almost had a double a up. Thought we almost had a double up for a second there. Set my hook in. Well, that's what we came here for, folks. Nice. Again, moving spots. We're just kind of exploring this lake a little bit. Found found some, you know, more offshore rocks and all that other good stuff. And I'm throwing throwing a, one of Ben's jigs. He doesn't sell them, but you should go comment on his videos to sell them because uh, he should because they catch fish. I still catching flare fish. I caught my first fish of the day was decent. After that, not so much. Ben's caught lots of good fish today. There's one. There it is. Get back. There we go, baby. Yeah, Woo! That's what's here. No, yeah, they were just in the nursery, folks. We are in the nursery. We gotta go find the, as Ben would call it, the slaunches. That's right. We found them this morning right away. That was pretty easy. Just pick pick the most obvious little little point on the map and fished it and caught fish. And now we're in the dink fest zone, so we're gonna have to change up tactics here in a minute and try to catch a big old donkey before we call it a day. Eventually. Howdy folks, I am back home doing the outro here. It's kind of my thing, but it was also super windy out on the lake. Did not catch any more fish, but it was a good day. I did I did live up to my name and caught a bunch of flare fish. Today was just one of those days. Ben Ben is a stick of an angler, and it's very hard to beat him when we both have a jig in our hand and uh, we're competing for basically, we're fishing the same brush pile, the same rock pile, we're competing for bites. He usually wins that battle. He's a very, 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 very good jig fisherman, but that's a lot of fun. I still caught some decent fish, um, and more importantly, learned a new body of water thanks to the Netfish app. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is free. The Netfish app is a brand new app out there, and they partnered with me to make this video possible they're brand new they have 15,000 waterways currently mapped if they don't have your favorite pond or lake you can always contact them i will leave all the information for that down below and it doesn't cost anything it is free there's no subscription uh they actually pay you they essentially basically pay you uh to use the app 
because you can redeem points for like fishing gear and stuff like that. It's a pretty cool program. Uh, I jumped on board with them. I think it's I think it's a pretty cool concept because I love exploring new bodies of water and it doesn't always hurt to have something out there that'll kind of somewhat guide you, show you maybe some rock piles, some brush piles like we found today. We found a lot of rock and brush today on using the app and then as well as it gives you when to fish, like the times of the day. Um, you know, obviously morning and evening is usually the best, but it's got, you know, basically based off of the moon phases and the barometric pressure and if it's rainy or cloudy, it'll tell you what the prime time conditions are for fishing and it also gives you lure suggestions so if you really have no idea what's going on you have no idea what lures to use it'll tell you you know there's bluegill in this lake so maybe you should throw a bluegill colored bait or, or like shad or shad colored bait whites stuff like that it gives you a lot of information a lot of good stuff it would really help me out if you guys did download it and uh and and, and used it I, I i would not tell you guys to do this if i did not think it would help a lot of you because i know a lot of you guys are new to fishing and uh, you're looking to have a little bit of an edge on your friends, this is a great way to do this. You go fishing, you find these secret spots, and uh, and that's that. And finally, they don't ask you to give up your favorite fishing spots. Like today, I did catch fish on the spots, but I did not submit those in the actual app itself. It's the iBobber that submits those based off of like the lake map. So it's not like I'm gonna go catch a bunch of fish on the rock pile that I found, and then all of a sudden the app is gonna be like, hey, everybody who has this app, come fish this rock pile. This is Flair's rock pile, and it's really good. Not how it works. That's That, that is not at all how it works. You don't share your fishing secret spots on this app. It just uses the iBobber technology to find prime locations on the lake to catch fish. Anyways, I'm gonna quit talking. That is enough, enough talking. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of Ben, basically Ben catching a bunch of big fish. If you want to subscribe to Ben, I will link his channel down below as well. Uh, he's doing big things this year. He actually just quit his full-time job to do YouTube videos and he's very good at instructional videos. So he's going to be doing a lot of tutorials. So if you guys want to learn more about bass fishing and then take those techniques out on the water using the Netfish app, there you go. Done, done, done. You'll catch more fish. Thanks for watching folks and peace.